Hello, hello, my beautiful Virgos. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti, and today I am going to be doing your yearly 2024 forecast. All right, so I've already pre shuffled uh, the decks. I will cut them on camera just so I could have meditated in your energy. And to get things going, I am going to cleanse our energy space first. I hope that you all have had a wonderful start to the new year. We're removing all negative energies and entities and any evil eye from your space and mine. Thank you. It is done. It is done. And so it is. All right, my love. So let's see what spirit messages need to come through. Bottom of the deck before I cut it. First one is otter and it says surrender. Let go of control. Virgo. I know Virgos, you guys like to, you know, you're an earth sign, you like to be grounded, stable. Yes, could like to be in control a lot of times, maybe controlling. I'm not really saying that is, you know, a bit of a shadow side for a Virgo, but um, this is saying to surrender, to let go, to allow, uh, you know, uh, the divine, the universe, whatever you believe in to help you. Okay, so we have antelope decisiveness make a decision and take appropriate action okay so part of this is kind of like you know putting into action making the decision of what it is that you want putting that into or putting action into place for it um being very decisive and virgo you're really good at that but then surrendering allowing okay letting go i just got spirit chills on that okay and then we have resolve the elephant. You will overcome any obstacles. Okay, you guys. So um, being decisive, making the decision, taking the appropriate steps, surrendering to the divine, and then knowing that you guys are going to overcome whatever obstacles um, are on your path. All right. That is pretty straightforward there. Next deck we have alignment so some of you guys might be out of alignment and when we are trying to control or when we're in negative energy and that could be fear right fearing you know that um and that's where control comes from right it comes from fear so if we're having you know any kind of fear any kind of negative emotions anger things like that unforgiveness that can get us out of alignment if we are not spending time going within spending time you know bringing in the light time with the divine if we're not spending that time with our inner selves or our spirit um, that can also bring us out of alignment. So for some of you guys, you need to do some work on uh, chakras. So getting your chakras aligned. Lots of different things you can uh, search up on the internet in regards to that. Um, and then let's see. So you guys, we have the infinite at the bottom of the deck. Notice it's very similar to that alignment. Notice what I said. Connecting to yourself connecting to source energy to the divine notice energy right so that your alignment uh is your energy frequency right getting uh your energy frequency into alignment sorry is what i'm trying to say um but also this is saying for you guys to be open to look at how open she is being open to infinite possibilities allowing surrendering to the universe allowing source energy to bring in what it is that you need and being open to there are so many infinite possibilities okay then we also have the throat chakra express your truth okay i'm also being you know guided of course to the blue butterfly you guys will notice like in my office blue butterflies everywhere that's what signifies uh you know uh, my business which is a uh, butterfly project uh 1111 i have another channel for that as well um and so this is saying some of you need to express your truth, but I'm not getting like towards somebody else. Maybe it is that you guys do need to speak up. Maybe you're out of alignment because you're not speaking up for what it is that you want. Virgos, you do have a tendency for that. A lot of people pleasing a lot of you, I think. Um, this is also talking about though, you know, to speak up to the divine you know, to speak and say, speak into existence what it is that you want. What do you want your life to be like? Okay, that's what this is talking about. Okay, so speak up and tell the universe what you want. It's like putting an order online, right? Tell the universe what it is that you actually want to create for your life. Okay, 
bottom of the next deck we have anger okay you guys some of you guys are holding on to some negative emotions safely express your anger so some of you that could be what the throat chakra is you might need to actually express your anger anger is not a true emotion it's like the iceberg right if you look that up the anger iceberg uh, i teach this to my cl clients in my counseling practice anger is just what the iceberg that we see above the waterline underneath is a much bigger chunk of ice and what that is is any negative emotion you could possibly think of fear rejection worry grief sadness um whatever it is any negative emotion basically so many of you guys actually are holding on to anger and some of you guys are not speaking up about it and you can speak up about it but doing it in a safe way expressing your anger in a safe way use anger as a positive force okay anger can be used to kind of fuel our passion to get us to move forward to you know overcome any obstacle and honor all of your emotions as sacred so if this is your emotions anger is usually kind of like signaling to you that you're probably not speaking up so that might be for some of you not all of you okay you guys and for the rest of you guys yes absolutely so infinite possibility you guys definitely remember i said that what i was picking up more so uh some of you guys might need to speak up to someone or a situation but i feel like for most of you guys this has to do with manifesting this has to do with infinite possibilities okay um and by saying that bottom of the deck possibility came out okay so this says raise your standards elevate your expectations right you have unlimited potential that's what i was saying with the infinite unlimited potential you guys it, you know there there is no ceiling here the sky is the limit all right so there's no ceiling it doesn't tap out endless possibilities infinite possibilities what do you want what do you want in your life what do you want to manifest and create speak that into existence use your voice to speak and tell the universe what it is that you want and then you guys we have imagination envision a new reality give yourself permission to dream believe in unlimited possibilities you guys this reading is definitely about manifestation okay this is absolutely beautiful you guys use your imagination know that whatever anything is possible okay infinite possibilities use your imagination as a tool to be able to manifest and create that is a way to speak up and to use your voice to manifest and create their infinite possibilities be open to receiving these as well okay surrender it to the divine all right my loves so let's get into the tarot and see what the tarot has for my beautiful virgos messages and guidance for virgo and one more all right let's see six of wands victory and success in what the high priestess you guys high priestess is the unknown the high priestess is um you know basically the one that uh you know has all the knowledge and wisdom of the unknown the you know 5d realm uh the not of this worldly uh, realm that we're in it's not the 3d tangible right so you are going to be very successful okay if you do those things if you imagine and create the infinite possibilities and surrender to the divine you guys that inner knowing that you are going to be successful is what is going to also bring that outcome and then we have king of swords this is saying uh for you guys to really be focused to really speak your truth to really speak uh into existence what it is that you want and then we have the nine of pentacles behind that is um you know independence but this is really like success this is you guys uh you know working on your self-concept being really self-assured uh being very independent and successful being luxurious like having everything that you want okay behind that we also have five of pentacles and seven of wands so this is saying for some of you guys you don't realize uh that lack of mentality is what could be blocking uh your abundance as well all right or your wishes dreams whatever you're trying to manifest and create as well okay so i'm just going to cut the deck and lay out the cards and then i will walk you through it 
Yes. All right. What is that about? Okay. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, you guys. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Okay, a few different messages here for you guys. So what we are aware of is the Page of Swords. So this could be you guys learning new information. This could you guys be you guys being very curious. This also could be communication. So communication coming into you or you communicating with someone. You speaking uh, and communicating. For others of you guys, this is somebody having their eye on you as well uh many of you in search of information okay having that curiosity learning something new then we have six of swords as what we are aware of so you guys are definitely coming out of or will be coming out of dark waters and moving into um you know calmer waters moving into the light coming out of the darkness and moving into the light um what you are not aware of is two of swords so the two of swords um this is like being at a crossroads this is an indecision so you guys might not realize that your indecision as well is kind of blocking um what it is that you want i'm not seeing so much heart chakra here being blocked notice like normally the two of swords is the swords cross across the chest in this deck interestingly it's not but look at her hand and her arm and wrist there what is it covering it's actually not covering the heart chakra it is covering the throat chakra so some of you guys could be at a crossroads on um, speaking up about something, speaking up maybe about a decision, okay, is what I'm getting. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Wands. So in the recent past, many of you guys could have been working on being attractive, being magnetic, shining your light. Some of you guys actually could be, you know, um, learning how to be a speaker you're a teacher you're somebody that's in the spotlight you're somebody that's being noticed some of you guys in the recent past this could be a person coming in for you here for others of you especially with page of swords i feel like many of you guys are in the spotlight and there's people actually like spying on you not in a negative way but just you know they have their eye on you they're you know they think that you're very attractive um and very magnetic also the queen of wands is um she is very magnetic she actually is the one um you know who knows how to manifest she knows how to like draw things in she knows how to visualize how to envision her future um she knows her value and her worth right and then she surrenders to the divine she's very connected to source energy as well okay you guys so for some of you guys you guys are kind of not seeing things for what they really are as well all right so in your advice we have the tower what i'm getting for advice as the tower is this is saying that sometimes things need to crumble and this doesn't have to be in your life it could actually be like just within yourself but sometimes there needs to be this kind of destruction to build a new is what I'm getting okay so kind of like you know an old building it's you know not useful it's not livable you know you can't put anything in there it's not it's too old it's falling apart um you know we need to to tear it down so that we can build something new and better so this is what this is saying um now we want to build on a firm foundation okay i will clarify that card for you guys as well knight of wands is your potential outcome this is adventure this is like you know either somebody coming in you know with very much fiery passionate energy um this could be you you know passionately taking action towards what it is that you want when i clarify it it's ace of pentacles so this is about you know your abundance this is a gift from the universe this is an opportunity for you guys possibly with somebody or you guys going towards uh you know taking quick passionate action towards an opportunity that's going to bring you abundance okay so take it how it resonates going to be different for everybody for some of you like i said it could be a knight of wands you know coming in somebody who's very charming somebody who's very you know kind of um you know passionate 
We have seven of cups. This is something that you have been dreaming about. This is also for me, the imagination card. This is you wishing upon a star. This is you dreaming about what it is that you want. And then we also have the chariot. This is going to move you towards victory and success, whether this is in a relationship, a business, work, you know, career, finance, whatever this is, you guys are definitely going to move forward and notice you guys are in control of this. All right. So, and you're in control by using your imagination. I just heard source say, and what are you guys going towards? Wish fulfillment, the star, your dreams. This is also saying for you to continue to hold on to hope. Okay. Your dreams are coming in. You guys, you will overcome any obstacles. Okay. We did see that. And infinite possibilities. What, what is it that you want? What is it that you want? Envision that right? Endless possibilities. Use your imagination to dream up what it is that you want with lots of passion. And you guys, these wishes are coming in for you. Okay. This is wish fulfillment. This is also healing for many of you guys as well. What we are unaware of underneath the surface, you guys, we have the eight of swords. This is you guys feeling stuck, but notice you can, you're keeping yourself stuck. You can easily get out of this. This is a mindset. Some of you are really stuck in a mindset. You need to let go of control. You need to surrender to the divine nine of swords, sleepless nights, you know, worrying, anxiety, um, having a lot of fear here. Um, this is really saying you know, some of you guys, it is from past wounds as well is what's keeping you stuck. So you guys don't realize fear, anxiety. Remember what I said? Needing to be in control is a way to kind of offset the fear, right? So that is low vibration. Um, that's not where you want to be. So you're keeping yourself in that. Okay. Then we have the four wands. So for many of you, it's about getting yourself stable and grounded within yourself. Uh, I think I mentioned that before. Um, as well, for many of you, you guys could be stuck in fear in regards to possibly a new home, a marriage, a relationship, a partnership, like in business, taking things to the next level in a relationship. Um, this could be in regards to your stability. Um, this is saying, remember what I said, like there's that tower. It's saying to, you know, you, you're going to need to break things down and some of its mindset some of it might not actually be like in your physical reality to be able to build new on a solid foundation for some of you this is in regards to your relationship others of you this is in regards to money or your health or finances or career then we have nine of cups so this again is my wish fulfillment. So for many of you guys, you're keeping yourself stuck by worrying about possibly, you know, um, wish fulfillment. Maybe you guys want to get married or maybe you guys want this business partnership or maybe you guys want this relationship to go to the next level. Um, you know, maybe you guys uh, want to celebrate. You want a new home, right? You guys are keeping yourself stuck from having this. Um, it's your mindset because then we have Ace of Wands. This is a passionate new beginning. So for many of you guys, whatever you felt stuck in, whatever you've been worrying about, okay, in regards to this, you guys are going to have your wish fulfillment. You don't see this coming. Okay, so stop worrying. Surrender. Let go of control. Stop worrying because this is coming in for you guys. And you guys, it could happen very quickly um, and suddenly with a judgment here. Okay, this is like resurrection. This is a wake-up call. Some of you guys might have a wake-up call and realize that this could, reading could be your wake-up call to get yourself out of this. Okay, if you guys want this. All right, wish fulfillment, passionate new beginning, possibly in, you know, a connection, a home, business partnership, whatever this is. And you guys, some of you guys, this wake up call, you can have a wake up call. This could be a resurrection. This could be reconciliation for some of you in a connection as well. This is destined for you. This is Wheel of Fortune. This is your destiny. This is your fate. I just heard. Normally, I'm seeing like 10 of pentacles here. This is your legacy. This is meant for you. For some of you guys, <clears throat> this could be you and another person. This could be the same person. So this person, if it is in regards to a person, 
could be king of pentacles so that could be this could be you as well this does represent uh earth signs so this could be you know virgo taurus capricorn this could be a water sign a king of cups this could be a you know earth sign that has a lot of deep feelings for you take it how it resonates male or female it doesn't matter we all embody both energies okay so swap the roles um take it how it resonates but this person possibly coming in was destined and fated for you i'm getting this kind of like an extra little message and many of you guys stop worrying and keeping yourself stuck sleepless nights you guys can easily get out of that by switching your mindset using your imagination to manifest and create okay knowing that infinite possibilities and you guys infinite possibilities surrender to the divine you need to speak your world into existence okay for some of you you actually might be keeping yourself stuck by being in this you know worry and fear state as opposed to maybe just telling this person how you feel or telling this person what it is that you desire i'm also getting that for some of you guys okay so let's just quickly clarify this one card why is the tower the advice why is the tower the advice all right okay yep you guys are definitely seven of swords seven of wands um you guys are sabotaging um your abundance by being guarded okay um for others of you guys you guys are afraid to open up because of past obstruction and somebody who has lied or deceived you possibly okay the first cards that did come out though um and five of cups at the bottom of the deck so many of you guys yeah definitely this is saying um you know past loss grief you guys are really just focused um you know on the loss and grief from the past and spirit is asking for you guys to shift your focus okay paradigm shift so we have the hermit and death so this destruction this tower like i said you need to put something to an end for something new to begin and many of you guys this is by going within yourself normally hermit goes within and focuses on what the star the star is usually a hermit usually has a lantern and the star is within that lantern and that is you going within and focusing on your dreams as well the hermit could be you guys gaining wisdom so for many of you whatever this destruction is this could be internal like i said it is going to bring you the a lot more wisdom what it is that you need for your situation okay so this is going to be different for everybody all right my loves that is what i have for you guys i am going to pull uh, an archangel michael card i already shuffled the deck let's go ahead and see what archangel michael has to say we have step into the spotlight you have a message that the world needs to hear it's time to share your wisdom you guys this you remember i said the queen of wands so some of you guys might need to get into the spotlight some of you guys are maybe not dreaming big enough um you know because the throat chakra here so some of you guys definitely have a message that the world needs to hear um it could be your friend group it could be a community it could be in your family it could be at work whatever this is you guys definitely need to use your voice there is a message um that's trying to get out okay trust the guidance you're receiving archangel uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany you guys what did i say that wake up call judgment this is also an epiphany as well so archangel Uri uriel has blessed you with a br brilliant epiphany i am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance you guys can't even make this up i just got spirituals this is the sword of truth okay um Uriel coming in to help you speak up, speak your truth, know your truth, and also to remove, where is this? I'm so horrible with holding on to these cards, you guys. Uriel literally saying, coming to cut away your worries so that you can trust in divine guidance. What was the very first card that came out was all about surrender, let go of control, trust in the divine trust in the messages and guidance that you guys are receiving all right my loves that is what i have for you i really enjoyed doing this reading 
Happy New Year again, you guys. Please don't forget to hit the like button, um, share the video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, I would absolutely love to have you here as part of this ever-growing butterfly family. Uh, and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos. And as well, you guys, when you do any number of these things or all of these things, that truly is the best way to help my channel uh, to grow, to support me and my channel and to help Spirit's messages to get out there. All right, so I wish you all the best for 2024. And as always, I wish you peace, love, and light. Until next time, bye-bye.